Welcome back. If you look into the half-century archive of W5, which, by the way, is available on Crave and our YouTube channel, you'll see that we have a history of spotting talent right before it breaks through. Justin Bieber, Jim Carrey, Wayne Gretzky, and we think we may have spotted another, a young Canadian who has been training alongside boxing's brightest star, Floyd Mayweather. Now, Cody Crowley is about a lot more than just his fists. He aims for his own world championship by bringing Canadian values to a sport which could use a few. It was in the late summer of 2017 when Vegas was still simply Sin City. When the excess was in the showmanship of the strip. Hi guys, Hi, welcome. The promise of pure spectacle. So it suited the oversized personalities of Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor as they slugged it out over 10 rounds with Mayweather extending his lifetime wins to 50 in a row and adding tens of millions of dollars to his bank account. But one step back from the media crush of the event sat a Canadian with only his professional future on the line. Cody Crowley helped Mayweather prepare for his fight with Conor McGregor and got closer than most to figuring the champ out. He just moves around and he sees everything you react to. He calculates it. Then he goes to work and he figures you out in the first round. How did he figure you out? Um, I think just me coming straight at him. He, uh, he knows that I'm not a boxer. I'm, a, I'm just a, uh, an aggressive, scrappy young fighter that has a lot of heart. It was the second time one of the most successful boxers of all time turned to Crowley to be his sparring partner. There's just something about Cody Mayweather's drawn to. When he realized that there's no way, I, there's no quit in this house. That grit has propelled Crowley to try to create the kind of career Mayweather has had. He too is undefeated as a professional. He too has turned his back on the legacy promoters and is trying to create his own business around boxing. But in one important way, he's trying to do it differently. Crowley wants nothing to do with the showmanship of Mayweather's social accounts, where he flaunts his wealth, barrels and barrels of money, or of course, his long history of domestic abuse against women. He's trying to succeed and stay humble. I'm not gonna fall into that, uh, you know, driving around in friggin' million dollar cars and blowing money, having a couple million dollars hanging from my neck. It's the everyday values of Peterborough, Ontario, where he grew up, that Crowley is trying to bring to the gritty and sometimes grimy sport of boxing. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Rich. Cody has returned home from Vegas for a paid gig in Mississauga, Ontario. So we're gonna eat? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. And his mother Julie and girlfriend Taylor have worked for days to make a meal to feed a large crowd of family, old school friends, and coaches who knew him growing up. Randy, get a plate, hon. I am there. Okay, get a plate. Randy Morrison was his first Peterborough coach. Cody was 12 when his dad James enrolled him in Morrison's kickboxing lessons to get him in better shape for hockey. Did you see the level of determination? and the potential of that at that young an age, or not at all? Not, not at all, not at that early age, but what I did recognize, and I had a few of them over the course of the 20 years of teaching, uh, was he was willing to listen. But Cody's mom, Julie, felt he needed to be toughened up, so she introduced him to boxing. 10 years later, his family home is filled with trophies, championship belts, and the memorabilia of a decade-long climb. I started seeing the, the passion that he had. Oh, hyper-focused, like uh, regimented to, to the point that it was almost annoying because, you know, I why'd you make this for supper? I can't eat that. Uh, you know, I need, I need my protein. Did you drive him pretty hard into this, do you think? No. You think I did? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. 
It's just I was always there for him. I knew what I was going to do um, before I finished school, probably about grade nine. You know, my mom started picking me up and signing me out of high school. I knew that school wasn't going to get me to where I wanted to be, so it kind of took away from my learning abilities in school, but, you know, I'm super, super smart on the streets now for it, so I'm happy, content. Some days he's just like, Mom, um, can you please sign me out? Can you please sign me out? I want to go to the gym. I have to train. Did you have any reservations about doing that? <sighs> no. With his family's support, Cody ascended through the ranks of amateur boxing in Ontario. But he decided to make it his career after winning a gold medal at the 2011 Canada Games in Halifax. Cody Cowley! That win and his more recent notoriety as Mayweather's training partner has made Crowley a hometown hero. They've even named every September 30th as official Cody Crowley Day in Peterborough. If I can come back here and show everybody, you know, thank you, show the world that a small little town can make it anywhere in the world. A small, small town kid can get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. Crowley credits one of Vegas's top boxing coaches, Ibn Kaysen, with giving him the chance to dream of an international title. Kaysen is now a friend and business partner, at first drawn to Crowley's values more than any natural ability he had. Average skill, um, maybe below average skill, uh, just, um, just the only thing that did impress me was his tenacity and his, his drive, you know, his, his, um, you know, he, his zeal to, to want to be. That, that impressed me. I mean, you took a pretty big gamble on Cody Crowley, you know, in you some ways. So? Well, in some ways. I mean, you, you're the guy in this town who had the reputation. Mm -hmm. um, but the gamble isn't that you took it on them as a fighter. The gamble is that, that somebody with the kind of value system that you were attracted to could succeed and win. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, well, let's, let's see. I think, I think we, we, we are succeeding at this point. I think that's our, that's our goal for, for boxing to change the game of boxing, to change how things are done, um, to, to, to bring some flavor, some, some sweet flavor to boxing and not the bitter taste that people hear about, you know, um, all this and that and the rats of, you know, and, and, you know, the bad name that boxing has, the, just all the negativity that goes along when you say boxing, we want to change that. And I think we will. I really, I really do believe we will. To get the measure of what it takes to win, look at what Crowley goes through the morning of a fight. The alarm set for an early morning call. He's been dieting hard to make the welterweight division he needs to fight in. It takes extraordinary discipline to go from the 170 pounds he usually carries down to the 152 to make weight. 152. He's kept his weight right where it needs to be. Hey, wait, now it's time to eat. I'm excited. Get some pancakes into me. I'll come back for that. Crowley keeps his circle tight. Everyone with him has to exhibit the same humble values. Thank you. With a little Mayweather posturing occasionally to keep the boxer loose. Where you at, Cody? Cody, where the pelvic thrust at? Show him the pelvic thrust. As the minutes to the opening bell count down, the room gets a lot more serious. With seconds to go, the sacrifices suddenly wash over Crowley. Living and working in Vegas has taken a lot of the Peterborough away from him. And right now, anyway, he's feeling regret. People, people think it's all glitz and glamour down there, man, but it's literally, it's me in a whole, whole different country, a whole new city, just me and my girl, you know? Every day I'm following people, hearing my friends, my family back home. Oh, I'm going here tonight for dinner. We're all going here for drinks, blah, blah, blah. Watching their Snapchats. Me and her sitting in a, in a you know, 50 foot condo, just looking at each other on a Friday night, being like, I'm sorry, I gotta go to the gym, babe. We'll be back in an hour, you know? So she, she suffered a lot, I've suffered a lot. So times like this, I wanna make it, uh, make it shine. Channeling Mayweather, Crowley tries to learn about his opponent in the opening rounds. Body, body. That's it, that's it. His eagerness leads to a few misses. 
but his conditioning keeps him taking the hits and coming back. Down. Cody hoped this Mississauga fight would be the last as just another boxer on a poster. The next time, he wants a bigger piece of the gate, his own company, his own show, his own way. Back where it all began, in the first championship boxing match Peterborough has hosted in almost four decades. The ring is no place for doubt. Every fighter has to believe they're the best. Or to let your guard down. At the end of the day, I'm gonna put on a show. When W5 continues. City Boxing Club just off the strip in Las Vegas, and Cody Crowley is thinking a lot about the larger-than-life face on the poster ringside, undefeated boxing champion Floyd Mayweather. Crowley admires his skill and business sense, but has worked hard to avoid the personal pitfalls that have tripped up many boxers, including, not too long ago, Crowley himself. Let's go. Come on. Dog park. Today, he lives a disciplined life in Vegas, alongside his girlfriend from Peterborough, Taylor Ellis, who is studying to be a medical specialist. It was Taylor who picked up the pieces when Crowley gave up on making it big in Vegas the first time. He had failed badly. You know, I kind of dug myself into a really, really big hole at one point. And uh, as soon as I met my girlfriend, she's just like, wake up. Like, I see you have so much, so much talent, and you're just... Uh, wasting it on getting yourself wasted every night. Who were you then? Um, I was someone who was dealing with a lot of regret from, you know, I had a chance to go and make something of myself and I kind of just, things got hard and I walked away from it. That just kind of put me into like a, a state of depression where I just kind of drank, um, drank, drank my, my sorrows away. He gives you a lot of credit for helping turn him around. Yeah, um, yeah, because I think honestly, I, I don't want to say if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't be here, but at the same time, I don't think that he would have came here by himself, and I think I kind of pushed him to come here. Do you worry about it long term? Because there can be lots of brain damage from this do, part. I do, and I do see it, like his memory is so bad, um, so I do get worried, and I always tell him, like, if he wakes up some mornings and he has, like, a really bad headache, I always try and tell him, like, just take the day off. You don't want to do more damage. So I do worry about what could possibly happen because there are a, anything could happen in the ring. Doesn't that scare you? My, it does a little bit, but um, I'm doing what I love, right? So that's why if I can do what I love and secure a future for myself and be done before permanent damage happens, then um, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. It's a hell of a way to make a living, though. It is, but uh, I'm not sacrificing myself to uh, the big man, you know, having a boss telling me what to do. So every single day is, uh, is a true blessing, you know. So it's a very different Cody Crowley returning to the streets of Peterborough to show his neighbors and friends and family that he's turned things around in a big way. This time, he's fighting for a Canadian title, and he's promoting this fight himself. I think... Every fighter has to believe they're the best or else you're going in that ring with doubt. Does that mean I'm the best at this very moment? No, but I believe that I have the potential to be the best ever. That's the kind of swagger a good Canadian boy like Cody Crowley will need to make it in this business and his title fight. That and a good dose of showmanship, something his mentor Floyd Mayweather has plenty of. This is what fans expect from their boxing heroes now. Cartoon-sized personalities and trash-talking build-ups like this event in Toronto for Mayweather's matchup with McGregor. Yeah! And he's, he's kind of a humble Canadian, though. Given the kind of showmanship that we saw here tonight, do you think a humble Canadian can ever reach the heights that you've reached? 
Well, I, I think being humble is really knowing where your blessings come from. It has nothing to do with, because we talk loud and we outspoken, it has nothing to do with that. Being humble is knowing where your blessings come from. All right. And I wish Cody nothing but the best. He's a natural entertainer, though. Yeah, he's a natural Would you say that you're a natural entertainer? Um, no, I'm more so of a quiet guy. Yeah, you are. Now, I'm starting to have more confidence in myself, and I know that I am the man. So when I go in that ring, you're going to see a lot more, um, a lot more confident. A um, little more show? A little bit more cockiness. But at the end of the day, I'm going to put on a show. Now you're sounding like the promoter. Yeah, because it's all entertainment. At the end of the day, it's a business. Whether I'm a fighter or a promoter, it all ties together in business. Who are you here for? Crawley. Crawley, eh? Oh, yeah. Who are you cheering for? Oh, yeah, the Crippler. Promoter has added a lot of extra detail to Crawley's every day. For example, where is he going to rent the tables from? Who's going to take care of the tablecloths and printing all the programs? On top of that, he had to personally sell 800 of the chairs on the arena floor. He's got $80,000 of his own money at risk tonight. That's a lot of financial pressure on top of having to perform in front of a room full of people that he pretty much knows. His opponent in this fight, not as easy a target, more strategic in taking Crowley's hits, hoping to tire him out. And then, in a moment of frustration, a cocky moment of showmanship that Floyd Mayweather would approve of. In his corner, his coach, business partner, and friend from Vegas, Ibn Kaysen. What is it that he needs to hear uh, in the boxing ring, in the corner, from you in particular, that lights him up? So um, whatever it is that I see him doing, if he's, sometimes he's too hyped, he's too amped up, as in his last fight, he, you know, he couldn't hear anything I was saying. It seemed like I had to calm him down. Cody, you, you know, calm down. Listen, don't use your emotions, you know. Um, and then sometimes I, you know, if, if, if a fighter's getting too lackadaisical, you gotta, you gotta pump them up. Well, basically, now I think I'm starting to sit back, like I'll, I say that Floyd does, where he calculates all the moves, the, how people are reacting, then he thinks of a game plan and he puts it into play. It ends up working for him. Crowley wins on points after the final round without a knockout punch. Like his mentor Mayweather, Cody Crowley has never lost a fight as a professional, and he's not stopping yet. He lingers for a while to enjoy the support of hometown neighbors and friends. In his first fight as a promoter, he's earned his 80 grand back and then some. Enough money to convince him to keep aiming for an international title. So it's back to Nevada, back to the steep climb to the top of a sport that he's hoping to help change people's perceptions of. A little showier, a little cockier, but staying on his own path. And for his next event, he's earned this incredible endorsement from the richest man in the business. Canada's best fighter, Cody. Support him, and I'll be there, Floyd Money Mayweather. You can't put a price on how much closer this brings a Canadian to boxing's big time. Boxing now has turned into an entertainment business, right? But there is still that area for the people's champion, you know? Um, someone who just motivates people, who gives them hope, who makes a difference in people's lives. That's the type of champion that I'm trying to be, you know? One that I have a whole, whole country behind me that, you know, they'll, they'll follow me right into war. 
Well, Crowley has another fight coming up in December where he's going to try to secure a top 10 spot in his weight class internationally and position himself for a shot at a world championship title in 2018. We'll be right back.